To wait, mate. Uh, my papers are in order. I have got another job. Oh, I've got a job as well. You'll have to wait, miss. We've had some bother. Can I phone my father? Tell him I'll be late? Please. Okay, miss. In the guard room. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all.
satisfied? Yes. I will take them. They'll be delivered in five days. What is to stop me taking them now? They are. Insurance? Security. Five days. Explosives, rifles, ammunition all left. Only the anti-tank weapons taken. Right. They walked out with the most sophisticated weapon we've got. Secret, too. They knew about it. Secret. A strategic weapon. Controlled, nuclear, tactical weapon. Nuclear? Controllable. Well, how controllable? Classified information, sorry. I'll use my imagination. How many did they take? All we had on the island. Quite. A sensitive situation? Yes. Are they still there? According to our intelligence. Who's got them? <laughs> Your guess? <clears throat> There's 150,000 unhappy refugees who want to go back home. No, no, not them. I was there, remember, in the last Troubles. They're fighters. They've been pushed out of their homes, live in tents. In the winter it rains, in the summer it's 120 degrees and no shade. They've got enough reason for using those weapons. We've other information. There's to be a meeting next week in Beirut. Palestinians, Russians, Americans, the lot. To discuss the whole Palestinian situation. More angry people kick from camp to camp. What's the difference, Angus? Politics. <laughs> Not my business. Never was. The meeting is to be held in one of their big hotels. Our man in Beirut says that the extremist party, Red Tiger, are planning a publicity outrage. And if that outrage was to use weapons taken from a British camp, someone in the foreign office would have egg on his face. If they used those weapons, they'd do more than kill a few politicians. I've got a week. Yes. What's my job? To prevent a deal between Red Tiger and their suppliers. To find the weapons and stop delivery. Right. Uh, controller? Oh, you'll meet him at the hotel. You took some finding. Christem. You'd have been dead in the old days. I have grown slower. Oh, fatter. Well, you've done all right for yourself. I saved the money. I took myself a shop. You want to shave, maybe? I want no troubles. Not with you, not with anyone. I want a favor, Contopolis. Why not? You know what happened here? We have enough troubles. We signed treaty and your people did nothing. You proud of that? I still want a favor for old time's sake. No. You're the loose connection, Contopolis. You know that. I blow the whistle on you, your dog meat. You can prove nothing. <laughs> Do you think your friends want proof? You know who sold Petros to the British all that time ago, don't you? You know, and I know. So, I want something simple. And if anyone should learn that I'm asking, I'll know who to blame and be happy to point the finger. Understand? Something was taken recently from the British. I want you to use your contacts to find out who it was. You can find me on that number. Right? Well, when did you arrive? About an hour ago. Well, don't expect any miracles. Yeah. Aren't you going to ask why it's me? I recognize the look in London. Lowman's in the Panama. It couldn't have been anyone else. Well, let's get down to business. Well, something for you straight away. That parade. I want a guest list and all the photographs you can lay your hands on. That's already in motion. The Army Photographic Department have promised me a full set by six this evening. You should come out into the field more often. Anything else? You never know your luck. Yes? Mr. Andrews. Speaking. The grey figure you were looking for, yes. I have managed to locate it in perfect condition. That didn't take you long. Ah, but it doesn't come cheap. We've already discussed the price. Nothing more, nothing less. 
Which is how much? Nothing. I'm blackmailing him. Oriste latte, paracallo. Cantopolis. You hadn't forgotten it all, had you? That went out with Marta Hari. Well, they're a simple people. Yeah, they're not that simple. A child of ten could break that. M Y R I A N T H E. Miriante. Just check that guest list, would you? British forces policy to steer clear of the locals. I doubt if you'll be in luck. Gatsos, Katsaros, and Andruniku. No Vambakaris? No, no, just the three of them. Oh, one does have the same Christian name. Well, no surprise, the most common here. Mirianthi Andruniku. That could be her there, the blonde. They're rather attractive, too. See if there's a closer shot and wire it off to London with both surnames. They might just have something. I'd have thought with your instinct for... Uh, I mean, uh, with your knowledge of the island, you should have no difficulty in finding out. Gitonya, saftiti gitonya, saftiti gitonya, ha ke vradi ke prohi. Perasa me ke kasa me bolo kiri sohi. Perasa me ke kasa me bolo kiri sohi. Brandy sour, please. Damn rubbish. Beg your pardon. Oh, I'm sorry. These guidebooks get my goat. Inaccurate, garbled. Was the water good? Perfect. I wish I had the time. I've been dashing about for two weeks. No time for swimming and lazing around. No one but a fool does anything else. It's too hot. Brandy sour. I think if I hear those words again, I'm going to be very ill. So? You have time to drink? You know, it's the people who drink them. You know what I mean? Oh, not you, of course. The British here seem to make it a habit. I wouldn't know, being what I am. Your English is very good. <laughs> Have I said something funny? I spent years in England. First the London School of Economics and then Harvard. I'm impressed. Hey, would you would join me over there? It's getting a bit crowded here. You're sure you have the time? Oh, no, but a fool rushes around. What were you studying? Political science. Oh, forbidding stuff. I suppose here is as good a place as any to follow that up. <laughs> I prefer something more tangible. Yes. I'm interested in antiquities, icons, paintings, pottery. Dollars Ditchwater, I suppose. Yes. Well, it's been a wild goose chase so far. I don't think at the moment that many people are interested in such things. We have to survive first, you see. Yes, I know. But I'm angry to tell the truth. I've been led up the garden path time and time again. One chap says he knows of a grave site, another has an icon, another a small pot. Rubbish, all of them. Fakes. It's an industry, I think. <laughs> no, you shouldn't laugh. You went to the wrong man. Well, you're going to tell me next you know someone. I do. An expert. You should meet him if you're really interested. And where do I find him? He lives not so very far away from here. You will have to talk with him. And he's not a fraud? He's my father. It's beautiful. If it were genuine. Isn't it? I would need to be a rich man to own such a thing. 
And these others? This is the Middle East, Mr. Andrews. We have factories here to make such things. A guy that takes you around the walls of Troy, past the pyramids, his stick turns up a scarab or a little figure such as you are holding in your hand. He is surprised. Those he guides are delighted. He sells it to them at 40 times its worth, and they boast to their friends they have an original piece. There is little point to such boasting. But you still deal? Once. Now I am an old man. I believe only two pleasures remain. Looking at lovely things and food. Tonight, perhaps, we may do both. Tonight? You've asked Mr. Andrews to stay at dinner, Mary Andre. Surely, my dear. I wasn't sure, Father. Oh, I insist. Tonight you eat with us. Well, that's very kind of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must see to these things, please, Mr. Andrews. Sit, drink, talk with Mary Anthe. She's always bored. Coffee? If I'm coming to dinner, hadn't I better go back to my hotel and change? Yes, I suppose you had. You are coming, then? Your father seems to expect me. Yes. He is the bored one. A new face, someone intelligent. It does him good. Where's your mother? She's dead, years ago. A mine on the road. It was a hazard of living here, Mr. Andrews. John. About eight. Yes, fine. That is a man, more than your little Ahmed. What do you mean by that? Atira, Ahmed is not playing games. I have to warn you. He and his friends are dangerous. You know that. Yet you are involved with them? Why not? Maybe if we help them, they will turn and help our struggle later. Who knows? You have been educated, given everything a woman could want. I am rich. What is the need when you are so lucky? I don't want to settle down here and marry a boring man who will expect me to stay at home all day eating sweetmeats. Your mother never complained? Not to you, no. She was loyal. Are your friends? Are yours? Your visitor, is he reliable? Without a doubt. An old friend, as it happened. And nothing to do with you. Perhaps. Unless you fail to deliver what you promised. Then your friends could be of interest to us. You see, old man? The goods will be there when I say. There are factors. What factors? You came to me because I know my business. Winds, tides, custom patrols, other fishing boats. A thousand and one problems. So you see, you must trust me. Ahmed bin Ahmed. They will be on the beach when I say. I hope they are. That man, who was he? Where is he from? He's a tourist, English, interested in antiquities. Sure. Who can be sure of anything? If one is to survive, one has to be sure. He's no one, a fool. And your father? He got the weapons, didn't he? The problem exactly. He has got the weapons. That pipeline will be there tomorrow and the day after. Two or three days won't make that much difference, surely. Marianthi, it is not enough to believe in what we are doing. What's that got to do with it? You want to stay with me? Then you will do as you are told. No questions, no discussion, only actions. Now. Your father, he has spoiled you, huh? You twist this man, other men, around your little finger. So you will find out all you can about that man. For me. Age 24, student at the LSE. And Harvard. <coughs> Harvard? I'll add that to the file. Politically to the left, active in demonstrations. Have you read this already? I just know the breed. <laughs> well, if she is with Red Tiger, she's into more than a blonde wig and a couple of student sit-ins. What about her father? Anything on him? No, no, no. Not very much. But what there is, well, he's an art dealer, high class. 
in the main international trafficking setups. Well, it smuggles out any work of art for anyone who will pay. To all the most important galleries in the world. You, you have read this. Deals in stolen goods, not just found items, right? Unattributable, I think the galleries call it. Icons, terracotta, grave figures, etc. They all do it. They take from anywhere. Private collections, public places, doesn't seem to make any difference. What else? Was he active in arms during the previous troubles? No. Nope. No arms. He's clean and only artefacts. But he did have a particular way of operating. Oh. Only we don't know what it is. Was. He's an old man now. Retired, he says. Do you believe that? Well, if it is true, perhaps he let us into his little secret. Like where they smuggled the stuff out in the old days. Encourage some movement, Quilla. The sooner the better. You might as well learn to make a kebab. Now you are here. Just uh, turn them gently. Have you lived on the island all these years, Mr. Bambacaris? Oh, I have lived in many places, Mr. Andrews. Mostly in the Middle East. But always I come back to my family home. This house. Well, naturally. Did you go home after you were here before, Mr. Andrews? Uh, I'm sorry. Once, uh, please turn them gently. Once I remember there was a raid on uh, some houses in a village. I remember the Songe. The Songe? We're well, not far from here. White village high above the road. British security rounded up men. Six were taken for interrogation. You remember it was death to be carrying a gun in those days. No one was very careful how they took information. Do you remember? Do I? There was one man in that group who was to be beaten, but uh, an officer, I think he was an officer, he was wearing ordinary clothes like me or you. He stopped it. You remember? I recognized you the first time you came here. You saved me. The meat, it's burning. They did a thorough job on the barber. Tomorrow? Yes, I'll be standing by. Oh, and by the way, as far as that other matter is concerned, I don't think it'll be necessary to fly anybody in. No. The army will oblige. Did I? Did I wake up? Oh. Did I doze off? I'm sorry. Must have been the Ritzina. Mr. Andrews is leaving. But it's only. Miriam, say, make him more coffee. Oh, thanks all the same, but I have to make an early start. To do what? You never know. I might be lucky. I do know. You'll be wasting your time. Anything worth having has already left the island, or is not for sale. I can but try. What else can I do? Well, you're young, you're on holiday. Go out, do what all the young people do. For once, I agree with him. I might just do that. Good night, Mr. Van Valkaris. Marianne, But if you seriously want something genuine, come and see me tomorrow. You mean you know someone? No, no promises, mind, but to bring your checkbook just in case. What time? In the evening, seven, say. Fine. Well, now, if... If you'll excuse me. I'll be up in just a moment. Good night, Mr. Van Bacaris, and thank you. He obviously likes you a great deal. The feeling's mutual. I'll walk you to your car. Oh, no, no, don't worry. I'll find my own way. We'll see you tomorrow, then. I hope so. Good night. Good night. I thought so. Uh, yes? Tomorrow, perhaps. You thought what? Well, that he might have taken my advice to her. And if I'd said no? You don't like him? I haven't really thought about it. He seems nice enough. Tomorrow, then. Don't forget the lights, will you?
see you. No, no, tomorrow. Come in and put the light on. We could see it better then, couldn't we? You must like it a great deal. Or are you a religious man, Mr. Andrews? There is another attraction for you in my house, I would have thought. What's that? My daughter is not unattractive, Mr. Andrews. When I was a young man, I prided myself on taking a married woman every night. It was dangerous then. A killing matter if the husband found out. I enjoyed it all the more for that. Yes, I'm sure. Genuine, isn't it? It's also not yours. Isn't it? I've seen it before. In a chapel up in the hills years ago. Well, things change. Most of these things were destroyed or stolen and shipped abroad. Museums buy them, pretend they have been found recently. Well, this one, this one I wanted very much. Someone told me I could have it. It is genuine and expensive. If you are interested, I could arrange to show you something similar. After all, I owe you something and I like you. Should I trust you? That's up to you. It can be arranged. Come and see me tomorrow. And uh, getting it out of the country? Oh, that would be your problem. Naturally. stationed here with the British Army? I think so. My father didn't say, only that Andrew saved him from being beaten up during an interrogation. That means he was with intelligence. You're probably right. And still could be. Then my father is not such a fool. If the British have sent someone in, it's as well to lie low for a while. No. The longer we wait, the more chance they have of finding them. Where is he staying? What are you going to do? Kill him. Do that and you'll never get the weapons. It's hard to explain, but there's a sort of bond between them, a respect. Perhaps that's why Andrew saved my father, why my father has never forgotten, I don't know. But harm him, and you will harm my father. Then he must be made to leave of his own accord. How? Just give me the name of his hotel. How'd you manage to get the process so quickly? Army photo section. Any idea who he is? He roughly fits the description of that chauffeur. Chauffeur? The one at the arms raid who drove the girl away. London might have something on him. Mm-hmm. The one thing we do know for certain is that she was the girl involved. My father will be with you in a moment, Mr. Andrews. Oh, no hurry. Now you're so near, you mean? He's told you, has he? About the icon he promised. But I knew he was on the lookout for something. Has he mentioned a prize? I rather think it will cost you nothing. If it's a debt of gratitude, accept. But if it's a gift, beware. 
I don't follow you. A Greek with a gift will expect a favor. You would like such a picture, that icon? Very much. Then you should take it and go away. Go away? Why? Oh, sorry to have kept you waiting, Mr. Andrews. Not at all. Shall we get to business straight away? Why should I go away? You've more important things to attend to. As I get older, I find my interests grow fewer. Beautiful objects and food, you said. Oh, you see, I repeat myself, I am growing old. You like these things? When I was young, I thought they were fit only for the dead, for the graves from which they came. Now I am closer to that hole in the ground. We're all a step away. Some of us want to live closer. Mm. You are right. Danger is perhaps the only thing worth living for. I fought against your people, you know that. Fighting is a habit we do not forget easily, the need for the butterfly in the gut, huh? Perhaps. You are a soldier here? That is past now, you say. You are no dealer, so what do you do? You have purpose. Emiliante is difficult, you understand me? I like what I've seen of you. I would make you a gift of that picture. Mirianthi said a Greek bearing a gift expects a favor. Was mm. she right? My daughter needs a firm hand. A man's hand, not mine. I am too old now. I would like to show you something. Please come. Beautiful. All genuine. In every case, I have arranged for a copy to replace them. Not one has been missed. What about the one in the other room? Isn't that a risk? For me, that is the age of the sword. I miss the crawling of my nerves. I enjoyed it when we hid people, things. Guns? Guns? Never in the old days. Never. Now, old man. Who are you? She suggested it, didn't she? A little bit of excitement for your old age. Only a matter of breaking into an arms store, taking something. When do you ship them out, Bambacaris? They're here, aren't they? This is beautiful. And the others. And for each one you took, you left a copy. But a beautiful copy, right? Yes. Those guns you're going to deliver will be used on a hotel in Beirut within two days. I was told they were to blow a pipeline. Nothing more. Then you're a fool. Anybody could blow up a pipeline with a mine. Those guns will be used on women and children in that hotel. Children, Van Bacaris. Can you make a copy of a child? Bone, blood, gristle. It'll be spread over that hotel like hot confetti and not enough left to make one child. Good evening, Mr. Andrews. What's going on? Who are you? What do you want? What have you got to offer? If you're looking for money, you're wasting your time. That much I can see. You won't get away with it. Get away with what? Breaking in here, threatening me. I have not even begun. Who are you? You seem to know that already. According to your passport, you deal in antiques. Are you plain clothes? Police. <laughs> are you? What are you doing here? I'm on holiday. Look, I am a dealer. I don't know what it is you would suspect me of, but if it's anything to do with stolen property... That is exactly what it is. Here, if a man is found taking another man's woman, do you know what happens to him? Oh, now I understand. 
In my country, too, it is a thing that cannot be overlooked. What you're suggesting is ridiculous. I'm only interested in my work. You would be well advised to leave. I went to their house tonight because her father wanted to show me something. If you're jealous of a thousand-year-old Go glass, home, fine. Mr. Andrews. It would be better for all concerned. arrangement. Perhaps. A contract. You agreed. Ahmed and you. I was there. You promised. I will not ship those weapons. You promised. What will I say to Ahmed? Tell him some lie. Like the lie you told me, Miriamse. Needed for a pipeline. No. The truth. Who told you? Ahmed. Ahmed. You tell him. Sit down. Drink this. Encourage some movement, I said. You certainly did. Close those shutters, would you? Is there anyone we know? Our friend, the chauffeur. Ah. Ahmed bin Ahmed. This arrived on him from London just a few minutes ago. The top man himself? Yes. Which can only mean one thing. He intends to escort those arms across himself. He won't get them. But you've already found out where they're hidden. Delivery depends on just how much Bambakaris loves his daughter. I'm sorry. He made a promise. Are you telling me the truth? Yes. Who changed his mind? Andrews. Then I think we're the answer. We have to persuade your father. They're in the house. We can pick them up any time you like. No, that isn't what London wants. Mission aim to quote. No deal between the supplier and Red Tiger. There's been a change of plan. I wish you'd let me in on the secret. Your instructions were to find out who stole them and where they're being shipped out from. You want them shipped out? You take it. Yes. When? I'm on my way. At least wait until I get there. You might just be in luck. Mirianth has been kidnapped. It was her mother. That's all. The note, nothing else. Deliver. Naturally. I have to. Where? I make a bargain, I stick to the bargain. Do you think I want her coming back in bits and pieces? This man, Ahmed, he will get what he wants, Mr. Andrews. Now, please, go away and leave me to sort out my own business. You have a contract. You owe me something, Van Bacaris. Remember? Tassi Hotel, Beirut. A deal is a deal. All we have to do is keep tabs on the old man. He won't lead anyone anywhere while his daughter's at risk. And you plan to stay with her? Till after the exchange, yes. Well, you must keep in touch with me. I'll get a message through to you somehow. Yes, well, that won't be easy. Is anything... I'm John Andrews. Uh, excuse me. You should have gone home. 
Do I get tea? I'm here for Mr. Van Vakaris, for his daughter's sake. Ah, an errand boy. If you want to play games, beat about the bush, okay. But you need those weapons sooner, you wouldn't have taken the girl. You think so? I know so. Could I have mint tea, please? You know nothing about us. I know about refugee camps. I know about the violence of your people's feelings. But you, you're not on a camp anymore. But my people are. You'll achieve nothing. Action, that is all we want. Notice, that is all we ask. But no. My people are so many tents, so much sugar, so many ounces of tea, logistics, statistics, nothing. Have you any idea who you'll kill when you take action? Or how many? Old men, women, children, ordinary innocent people. The price we pay. They pay, you don't. I am a religious man. I too pay for the crime of murder. But if I had to, I would use my own father. And a girl? Of course. I like her father. When it comes to it, we only look after those we like. Her father wants assurances from me personally that she's well, alive. You, personally? Then you get the weapons as arranged. The old man already has a message from us. That we don't know yet, Colonel. We're still waiting for news from Beirut. Yeah, but if you could keep your man standing by, and suitably attired. Hmm? Well, as long as he's inconspicuous. I'm sorry. Don't look at me. You chose it. I'm right. I believe in what I'm doing. You... You think we have no minds? No conscience? Their conscience went out of the window the first time they blew a child to bits. Conscience is a luxury they do without in this world. There is a plane in one hour. You will be on it. And the girl? We have heard from her father. You will tell him we agree to his plan. She will be delivered in good health. Where will she be delivered? Her father knows. If the weapons are there, she will be returned. If not, she is the price he will pay. Where are they collecting? You have to tell me. You know me. You knew me before. I cannot. You know what they will do to Mary Anse? If those guns are delivered, they'll destroy the whole of the center of that city and the people in it. And I get back my daughter. All right. Tell me. No. Tell me. No. Tell me. Which beach? Please. Look out, you beach. I will take you. Quilla. Yeah. I'd almost given you up. Yes, of course. We'll be there. No. Your job is finished. I haven't got time to argue. All right. But on your own head, be it.
Let him look, sir. You fool! Get down! You know the target? Yes, sir. Right, take them. Well, take it out. It wasn't necessary. We could have picked the arms up at the house. Why go through all that charade? As it turned out, it was an object lesson to all those who want to play games with terrorists. And the girl's death? That was unfortunate. But her own fault. <laughs> <laughs> 